Let's talk about what today is going to involve. Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to go from here into opening remarks. You're going to have an opportunity to hear from one of California government's foremost leaders in data leveraging. She's championed a program that's eliminated millions of dollars in fraud and has made California a much more effective state for provider enrollment. Our keynote, is going to be delivered by a data visionary. He's helped organizations across the country develop customer-centric data-driven interfaces and systems. Now, for those of you whose eyes just rolled back, he makes it fun. So stick around because one of the biggest challenges I believe, from a leadership perspective, is trying to understand how to make data not a nerd concept, but a customer service concept, right? Believe it or not, the data that you all hold within your data repositories is all of the information on all of those millions of Californians out there that you strive every day to serve more effectively. You would be amazed what that data can tell you, and Manesh is going to explain to you how to pull out that valuable content. After that, you're going to be excused to the morning education sessions. There's going to be two sets of seven different education sessions. Uh, basically, each track is going to examine data from a different perspective. So you're going to have data 101 versus data for leaders versus uh, nerdy stuff that I don't understand myself. But I guarantee it will be a lot of value if you are a data scientist, you're a data analyst, you're one of the smart people in the room. <laughs> After that, we come back together for our lunch agenda. We're very excited to have representatives from UCLA's New School, as they call it, and UC's Institute for Prediction Technologies. These two organizations have incredible studies going on in data utilization. They're going to be here to discuss how government organizations can truly leverage the various social media tools that are out there to gain a better understanding of the citizen customer and improve their business structure to better serve the people of California. In the afternoon, we're going to break, break out for one more education session and then come back together and we're going to have a, a panel of, uh, of uh, subject matter experts up here on the stage to discuss lessons learned within California. So these are gonna be your peers up here on stage talking about what they've done over the last years to truly understand uh, how you can be leveraging data or leverage the, the uh, lessons learned they've gone through to improve your strategy. After that, fun part. Uh, we go into the awards immediately after that, and we're going to be acknowledging not only some leaders within California, but out here in the Solution Center, there are four of your peers out there demonstrating uh, ways that they're leveraging data within their environment. So you have an opportunity to actually form relationships with people that may be struggling with some of the, or may have overcome <laughs> challenges that you guys may be struggling with, right? So take time to meet with them and talk to them, and one of those entities is going to be receiving an award. And if you make it through all that, we're going to reward you with adult beverages and food. <laughs> all right? So without any further ado, it's my honor to introduce this forum's executive sponsor. 
Karen Johnson currently is serving as the Chief Deputy Executive Director for Covered California and has been a tireless advocate for the use of information to help government leaders make better decisions and deliver better services. Anyone that's been involved with the creation and production of one of these forums knows that it requires a clear vision and a passion for the topic. Karen brings that in overwhelming quantities. The content, speakers, and curriculum are a result of her commitment to making this forum as valuable as possible. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Karen Johnson. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. So I figured we'd start off the morning with a factoid and an Inspire IT organization that the data that is produced is going to be 44 times greater in 2020 than it is in 2009. So if you think about that, we're all well on our way to a Yoda byte. Does everybody know what a Yoda byte is? It's like one with about 24 zeros behind it. And it's also safe to say that the anticipated growth of data and emerging use of unstructured data are game changers. There's no getting away from the amount of data. Data is everywhere. There's lots of changes ahead of us, and for us to be successful, you need to be able to figure out how to manage that data, how to lead that data, how to handle the complex set of unknowns that are going to be coming at us at a rapid place and creating real-time agility. And the focus towards lean is going to be ever more important. We are transforming at an exponential pace the convergence of machine learning, artificial intelligence, data mining, to the next internet and business transformation will create both disruptions but yet opportunities. This progress is made possible with the countless efforts of innovation and discoveries which are pushing us forward for us to find new ways to solve business problems, new ways of thinking and finding meaningful insights to the massive amounts of data that are being acquired every second. As you know, we live in this age now of instant gratification. Civic engagement is ever so important. Citizen transparency. And all of this combined has caused significant changes in the culture, leadership, and technology, and the data and analytics domain. So a new role of the chief data officer is ever more important to help advise our chief information officers as well as our chief technologist officers. They're responsible for the enterprise-wide governance of data and the utilization of information as an asset. They will help us define the data management, security infrastructure, the acquisition, and analytics strategy. Data analysis is as much as an art as it is a science. The data analysts and scientists are playing a very vital role in a data-driven organization. The need for real-time data has led to changes in technology from traditional big data, warehouse of business intelligence systems to nimbler, modern business intelligence platforms. In today's Leveraging Data Conference, you will learn from your peers and the vendor community about the challenges and opportunities that exist about to improve service delivery, improve transparency, and improve collaboration between the government and the citizens. You'll be amazed at all the innovations and solutions that are out there, both in the private and public sector entities to improve a business outcomes. Today, there's efforts underway to provide better health care. Early detection and diagnosis is important. Prevent security threats and intrusion detection in real time. Even improvements in California roads using LADAR and radar data 
There's been major breakthroughs also with compute technology. On the hardware side, major chip makers are moving from CPUs to graphic cards, to custom application-specific integrated circuit chips, such as Google's Tensor Processing Unit. The software vendors are rewriting their applications to make use of infinite compute power offered by graphic cards and TPUs. So what does this mean? With all the new hardware and software together, one can analyze billions of records in mere milliseconds, perform very compute intense calculations in almost real time. So as you attend the sessions today, I want you to learn from the data science, I want you to learn about the internet of things, machine learning, artificial intelligence solutions that are being presented out there, and to find ways that will help you transform your organization.